One of the things that students have told me uh, when they've taken the NCLEX is that the um, NCLEX will, the question may be phrased such as, um, what type of response would you have to a uh, preschooler, school age, adolescent, you know, with a certain situation? So you want to get an understanding of how they view death, um, whether it's permanent, whether it's, um, you know, not permanent. Uh, so let's look at a question here. A 10-year-old becomes quiet and then says that his grandmother recently died. Which statements are most typical for a child of that age? This is a 10-year-old. Um, I keep feeling there is a reason that she died so soon. I know that she died because I had a fight about staying up late. My grandmother died because she was very, very sick. And four, my grandmother will come back because my mom misses her. So of these answers, um, by 10, they do have a realistic concept. So of these answers, three is the best answer. Um, all of the other answers may be more indicative of what a younger child may think. Younger children, as we said, may feel responsible for things they have no control over, and they may feel responsible for something such as a death or an illness.